careful. Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. the view up there I don't know all I can see is my mother's disappointed face I really like your outfit yeah I liked it too not good enough though apparently and on top of that the shoes were too tight did you say something about shoes yeah why you need some take these I don't need any I'm gonna sit here forever what are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Kind of shabby looking for a Maiden's Feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just... Kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. I was in a Maiden's Feast too, just today in fact. Oh really? You didn't get picked either? Well, 
No, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... what? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Please place your offering into the Bowls of Enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. Can I go up that ladder? Yes, after you place an offering in the bowl. Light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Marylock forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Mary Loft whenever they felt like it? Everyone would leave? What? No! Mary Loft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But now... I could go kill Magchathra? What an offensive idea. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoops of Birdie Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment. Impossible. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. 
to show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Ah, uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Mariloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. <laughs>